Hey, Pan Am? So you're a V. Where's my car? Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. <laughs> Agree to help me. You'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? One guy I gotta talk to. A corpo traveling by corp convoy. No, I don't do abductions. Besides, you'd need many more bodies and heaps of gear to take a convoy. It's just one AV. Planned route will take it over Jackson Plains. Fuck. In return, info in your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. You got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you chew me yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. <laughs> Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. Straightened up to my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz! Hey! Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, boss. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Who the hell's Boz? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Sixth Street. You drive for gangoons. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. Give that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. So... where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Any chance they might help us? In Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Good, let's roll. Get in. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and boosters that you came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So 
Why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Rogue's queen of the afterlife. Plays her pawns as she pleases. Did you just call me a pawn? I got a good look at her. She rose to the top because she reads people. So what if she keeps things to herself? It's a skill in her profession. Well, I think she's a lying, manipulative bitch. She put me together with that rabbit. Did you know that? Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm hmm. Nomads tossed out of clans. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teens, sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Well, would you look what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm-hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. One might not have needed a babysitter if you hadn't lost the merch and the car. Shut it, V. <laughs> Are you kidding? Did that beauty Thornton of yours finally bite it? <laughs> she rode it to death in old Night City. Nah, it got clipped. Shit, who dared? It doesn't matter. I'll get her back. That's why I'm here. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. His plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? Next time, Ellie. I promise.
so I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Were those two in the army? Scorpion Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. He's down. Nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. <sighs> right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? So, classic route. Good old diversion. You know it. First... We don't know how many are coming. My thinking is it'll be a sizable crew. Second, we have to create an opening to get to my car. If they're bunched together, we won't stand a chance. So we give them a little light show at the intersection? Yes. We'll breathe some life into this dusty old town. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First, we start up the control terminal below. 
The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Switch gears got power. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. They're rolling in. And my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them up. Sound good? Sounds great. Driving to the pros. At last. And she's prime wheels, isn't she? Dreamy indeed. I'm surprised you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. 
Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. And I am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got them. Six Street away from Just listen and I... to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Wanna just show up at the Raffin hideout? Are you out of your mind? Do you have a better idea? Let me hear it. Matter of fact, I do. We take the stuff to 6th Street, then go after Hellman like we planned. I gave you my word, didn't I? Please stop writing my ass about Hellman. And do not start acting high and mighty, like you won't lift a finger if it's not in the contract. Just... just help me get Nash. <sighs> All right, so where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. Know how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the 6th Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! So, feel any better? Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Pan Am! How's Nash? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Uh huh. Everything's in order? Check your account. 
Should be pretty plush in a couple of minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Raffin's wiped, Sixth Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Hello, Noah. Hey. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seen worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers... Cheers. Here's to what's yet to come. To what's to come. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh, no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. The Alda Caldos. Think he'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but someday? I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Could always try it out. See who you become in Night City. Except, City doesn't always play fair. Don't know if it's worth sacrificing your friends along the way. You mean Mitch? Scorpion? Come on. Sooner or later, Pan Am, the city will suck you in. Won't need to cut whatever ties you got left at the Alba Caldos. Because the city will do that for you. I guess I should think about it. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um... <clears throat> glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... calls for a... little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. No one will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. <laughs> 